okay, we'll get this started. What was that scoring? Is this right? <coughs> three, three, two. Yes. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. This was a league game. I was, I was in the league. Yeah, yeah. We won three, two. This. We, we won. No, 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 Can someone check top. this? Uh, someone top. check this. This isn't allowed. Wait. Uh, this isn't getting the rules, is it? Ah, oh. uh, surely. Come on. Is it not so? Oh shit, it's recording. Hey, oh, welcome hey. to We Have No Cares, um, the podcast about hearts, where we're covering hearts lost to Paul Kirk. The... Someone check this. I'm not. I, yeah, we I'm not going online check. to check anything about this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good check, actually. <laughs> uh, well, uh, in, in fact, checking duties, uh, we have Ian Walker. Hi. Fridgey. Hi. <laughs> Robert Borthwick. Hello. And Nicole, hey. Hey. hey! Thanks, guys. Yeah, Thanks. you're welcome, man. Yeah, that really welcome back. Makes me feel good. Yeah, um, yeah. The, um, sorry for sorry for the gap. That's all Rangers' fault. Yeah. And the angry weather gods. <laughs> um, yeah, Hearts Hearts lost a game in the league. Are you sure it wasn't? Are you sure we didn't just play Celtic in the cup? Is that no, not just? No, this is a game we actually wanted to win and we did not. Oh fuck. I kind of wanted to be Celtic as well, to be fair. Yeah, but uh, it didn't matter though, did it? It was unlikely. Not, not really. But anyway, we'll get uh, we'll get to that. This is a this is a packed episode covering uh, everything that's happened over the last two weeks. But before we uh, do that, just uh, a slightly more sombre note: uh, the um, Cowd and Beath winger Dean Brett. We've uh, clowned him a few times on this uh, yes. podcast, um, but uh, you know it was all all in good fun and. We find out the absolutely uh, terrible news of just the horrific time that he's been having of it recently yeah. in his personal life. Uh, Dean, I think there's probably zero chance that you'll ever actually hear this. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, you're you're a fine fine footballer and I think the way that you've handled everything that's happened to you over this last week speaks to a great deal of character as well. Yeah, so absolutely. Just know absolutely. that uh, all of us here at We Have No Cares are, are thinking of you 100%. and your family. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, last week, before we get to uh, uh, yesterday's bizarre entry into the Hearts <laughs> League season, uh, possibly even more bizarre entry. Um, Aye. Ibrox. Now, all four of us had tickets. How many of us made it inside Ibrox? That would be none. That would be zero. That would be zero of us. Not yeah. one of us. Although two of us were outside Ibrox for kickoff. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't travel to the match. I watched it on TV. That was my intention. I gave up my ticket early on. Oh, is that right? Yeah, because yeah. oh. you're a dick. <laughs> did, did, did you I don't foresee? That, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you I, left I, me and Phil on a bad bus happening. for two and a half fucking hours. <laughs> Nobody forced to get, you to go. You to get dropped off at an as does. <laughs> <laughs> In Govan. Oh, was it the Govan as though? Ah, then I had to walk around nice to the fucking them. Loudon Tavern to get the subway. That was great. Yeah. Speaking of the Loudon Tavern. Ah, yeah. Mind that time, Nickel. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, like our tickets were on the same bus that, that Ian Walker was. So, uh, me and Rob were standing outside I brought going, well, this is a this is a fine how do you do. Yes. Uh, so the only available screen with which to watch the game was inside the Loudon Tavern. Greatest pub in the world. <laughs> that's what they say they wouldn't be allowed to write it on the front of the pub if it wasn't entirely true for 24 minutes Nicole we were the people <laughs> <laughs> it is quite amazing that they do have a pub for gorillas <laughs> it's it was uh, yeah I, I really I, I really need to pee as soon as we got in so I, I was wearing my like hearts pants right and <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's that's uh, that actually happened. Yeah, I went in and sort of I, I was I was waiting in a wee queue and I just sort of heard this this sort of half man, half ape thing saying, oh, there's so many jambos in here. And I was like, ah, fuck, well, uh, yep, just going to go to the cubicle, I think. <laughs> just uh, keep these ball bag shorts out of sight. Um, yeah, it was, it was quite an interesting experience. Some guy tried to talk to me about the EGM and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I sort of tried to ingrain myself in there by putting on a fake Glaswegian accent. Yeah, yeah you, you've had a little uh, taste of that just now. Like, that is... Rob's accent did not get any less cartoony than that for the entire time that he was trying to convince people that he was a Rangers fan. But I began to enjoy it. <laughs> On the way out, I, I did you get really, really angry, and ugly. <laughs> On the way out, I gave a high five to the guy and called him brother. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, brother. <laughs> I tell you what, though, those, those guys in the, the Loudon Tavern, they fucking love cheering on whenever the Rangers make a tackle. Yeah, oh, God, they love a tackle. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
Who the fuck goes to the pub that's literally 20 yards away from your ground to watch a game on telly? The guys who are banned, probably. <laughs> that's a point. I got it. <laughs> there was certainly a party atmosphere with the pre match songs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah. Oh dear me. I didn't know there were so many uh, talented flautists. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's actually not that we're making this a loud and tavern podcast, but it's, it's, it's a really good setup for a sports bar. It's just like really empty in the middle with like screens basically every inch of the walls all the way around. Above all the, the pictures of like Paul Gascoigne mining the flute and things yeah. like that. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But all the barmen have got like you know like the five star tattoos on their forearms and things like that. And yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just a terrible place. Apart from the one outrageously attractive barmaid who just ah, yeah. looked like Riddled she just me. didn't Riddled. fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, yep. on that bombshell, uh, uh, the actual game there wasn't much of note in it. Uh, Gennaro Zefouk, um holding off all uh, attempts to, to knock him over. And that one incredible bit of skill, well, I guess you would have seen this on the TV, when like he found like the one clear line where they'd cleared away like the D yeah. inside the box, and he could control the ball on it, so he thought, well, I'll just keep this on here for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky Law bounced off him, and it was, fuck it. It was like something that had, like, I don't know, wacky races. <laughs> sounded fucking bra on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Ali Mushtark hit free kick, rattled off the bar. Mm. To be fair, I, I I preferred his contribution of making a forty-yard side tackle through the ice <laughs> on Kenny Miller. That <laughs> <laughs> was uh, I. If he'd made solid contact with Miller, it would have been one of the most blatant red cards I've ever seen in my life. It was great. Uh, but then it all stopped because it was just dangerous and a farce. Yes, and yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and that was right. that. So yeah, so that that game did not happen, and it looks like it's going to be postponed for far in the future, possibly after we've won the league. Start of April, it's looking like yeah, yeah. it's going to be fucking funny. Yeah, it yeah. would be nice to turn up to Irox with newspapers again. Yes, <laughs> and a massive cigar. <laughs> just one, do it twice just, one. just one, but like a really <coughs> like the size of the stand. We've been so discussing like, this in the flat for weeks. Yeah, big paper mache cigar that's like about six foot long. I'm going to go dress as Sandy Easdale. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yep. Uh, great, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, but we won't be winning the league if this terrible run of form continues. Fuck's Fuck sake. sake, Hearts. Fuck sake, losing at home to a really good Falkirk team who were really good and exploited all our weaknesses. One, Fuck sake. One I'm loss. Back. <laughs> one, loss and, one, one loss in 21 games. That's fucking relegation. That's, <laughs> that's what we're staring down the face of here. Well, I thought it was quite interesting. You actually tweeted earlier on today that this is a, a year since we uh, moved into like positive points last yes. season. Hi, <laughs> Cal- Callum Patterson and Scotty Robinson scoring at Ross County. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, at this point last season we'd barely got fifteen points. Yes. Uh, and now we're we're just a mere well we're still thirteen points clear, aren't we? Yeah. So the game itself, I arrived four minutes into this game, which was inconvenient. <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, the train was just lit. Twat. <laughs> <laughs> Big twat of a train. <laughs> what an absolute dick that train is. Um, <laughs> Could anyone tell me, did I miss anything? Did anything um, going to happen? Who, there, was, there was that. Was that a goal? Yeah, it was a goal. Yeah, there was a goal. There was a goal that oh. made me think we were going to win like 12 0. Um, didn't transpire. Yeah, no. Didn't, didn't happen. But if you, if you want, I mean, for the sake of this podcast, I can talk you through the goal oh that's that's a novel innovation why don't you do that yeah okay I'll do it um, so the ball came to Zafouk uh, about maybe 30 yards from goal something like that and he took it down on his chest and Osman So made the run of a winger down the left hand side uh, Zafouk with a wonderfully weighted pass into him and then um, somehow gathered speed to get back into the middle for the cutback uh, great pass from So uh, to find him again and it was, uh, it was a pretty simple finish he finished it with a plum. Uh, hit it pretty hard under the, the body of uh, Jamie McDonald and then celebrated like a fucking madman. It was great. Would any of you like to stop, say, folk, celebrating? No. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the referee sort of was actually had the stains to give him a yellow card for it. <laughs> I think he's the only one if he came running towards me in my seat in the front row where I would actually think twice about leaning over for the hug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dodger, dodger hug, dodger hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did feel sorry for the guys at the front of section G that, <laughs> that had to embrace him. Fucking bulldozed. Aye. All of them were like their ribs are now powder. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, great start to the game. Uh, Obviously, goal after two minutes, but we were putting on pressure regardless of that. It was a good first ten minutes or so. Uh, you know, we looked looked like a good, solid attacking unit. Um, did look too out of sorts at the back, still playing it around nicely, and then it just kind of went to shit. There was a, a mixture of uh, our guys being under par and also Falkirk. To be fair to them, were absolutely superb all over the park. I can't really think of any of their players that had you know terribly bad games they were they were just very very good on the day yeah I mean just to concentrate on that, that goal for let's concentrate on the positives for, for just let's hold on to it for as long as we can <laughs> grasp uh, at those straws <laughs> I still haven't seen it because there's not been any highlights of it but it was having it described to me by, by Simon once I finally got there and it, like it was it was so nice because it sounded like what we'd been looking forward to with Osman coming back and just like it, it, it's like the the perfect plan of Zayfout being there to finish off the things that Osman creates I mean did it was it going like that did it did it have that feel about it it started like that a bit but um, as the game wore on so seemed to drift wide whether he was told to or whether that was the plan I don't know but um, I think he got a bit isolated wide I don't think he he was able to penetrate very well um, and so we stopped getting the ball in to the box yeah. in the same way, and therefore as Fook didn't score any more goals. I, th- I think the, the way the way we started was uh, as as we're saying great for the first ten minutes. So was involved. So you know flashed a great strike just wide of the post as well. So you know he was he was involved. He didn't really look like he was suffering too much from lack of fitness. To be honest, uh, you know you could tell a couple of his touches were maybe a wee bit off, but um, in general he was doing fine. Zayfouk was getting himself into good positions. His hold up was just superb um, he's got an incredible chest he's got an incredible arse <laughs> well, well, chest and, uh, all of these things but like you know the ball of like, sort of like hits his chest like it could be screaming at him from over like 40 yards it hits the chest and just goes ah no <laughs> it just stops and rolls down his frame he's the first ever footballer I've seen that's built like a Fiat Duplo <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, you know it's it's quite incredible, but you know he's he's a very effective guy. You know he'll he'll continue to get stick for being a big you know unit of a guy, but if he keeps putting in performances like that, who but fucking he's, cares? But he's fast, he's skillful. Yeah, uh, he's he's charged down onto was that a defender or was it? Oh, well, when, it was, when he was charging in on McDonald, you mean? McDonald, yes. Yeah, uh, he was like a rocket, unstoppable, really fast. Um, and he's very skillful. Yeah, why? Why does he need to be thin if he's so good already? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck weight loss. <laughs> if you're good enough, you're That's thin enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's my attitude to life. <laughs> and, and it's a winner. And Chris Boyd's obviously as well. <laughs> but he's not good enough. No. So, like you say, we we still played quite well for the the beginning part of it. I mean, like I still, despite missing that goal, I saw enough sort of. Tricks and flicks from everybody. Walker having a, a few lovely touches. So Nicholson. tried to score a, a, a what do you call it a rabona or whatever. Right? Oh yeah. Back, yeah. You see, like, tried to score one of those from about twenty yards. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. I didn't begrudge him at all. No, absolutely not. I would have absolutely done a cock twirly if that had actually <laughs> been. That would have been brilliant. Um, so you know, it was it, it was it was looking nice. It was actually reminding me of the um, the first Falkirk home game that we played this season where we absolutely dicked all over them for, yeah. for 90 minutes and it was everything was wonderful remember that yeah. when, when life was wonderful I remember that uh, but you know like uh, cracks started to show um, Falkirk had like an, an astonishing miss from a, from a free kick where they just sort of worked the ball into the uh, into the penalty box and uh, I think it's Sibbled was it the number 10 lashed wide yep. um, and that was the first sort of signs that Maybe Jordan wasn't quite up to par for this game. Yeah, to be honest with you, Jordan and Danny were both poor. I mean, it's, it's incredible that the calming influence in that defence is Ali Mostok. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's quite something. But um, no, I mean, when, when I saw the, the lineups, I was surprised Mackay didn't start, to be honest. I can see why he started McGee. McGee's just signed a new contract. He wants to be a centre half in the long run. You know, from that aspect, it did make sense. But I was a wee bit surprised that Mackay didn't start. Mackay's been great when yep. he's played this season. Um, 
but you know that's that's a decision we made, and, and both of them, you know, they really the kind of half the spine of the team didn't show up today because Gomez and Blabin were it's the worst they've played by quite a considerable distance, and then Danny and uh, Jordan not giving any confidence to Alexander behind him as well. It just it wasn't. We weren't at the races, and Falkirk showed up in the day. I think Prince particularly had a very bad first half. He didn't improve greatly in the second half. No, no. It was just, it was, yeah, just too many <coughs> below par performances all over the park, really. It was just a, a great big fucking shame. But Gomez was absolutely fantastic for the first ten minutes of the second half, and then we all just lost it again. Yeah. His problem though is that Gomez was putting out fires everywhere just because we were playing a system with two guys in the midfield and Prince just was Disappeared. sort of wandering around. You know, Gomez was trying to do everything and he, he can't. He can try. He can get close. He can do 90% of everything. <laughs> he can do everything. Yes, that's true. That's true. But then, you know, the the sort of. I don't know. The final moment of the whole display was. was uh, their penalty, you know, the guy drifting in from out wide too easily, and then a mistake from a centre half of ours, Jordan. Yeah. I thought I really thought after the game Easter ruled last season he cut that sort of naivety out of his game, but he just wiped out Loy. There was no point even making the, the tackle. You know, it was never on. The guy was running away from goal. I, I didn't understand it. It was it was a bit of a, a moment for Jordan. That's again, it's something you learn from. You, it's easy to forget he's still only eighteen years old. I take but, um, the point that you know he he wants to be a centre half full time, but I would I would I kind of feel like at this point in time he's better at right back. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if yeah, I agree, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean there was that point later in the game where we put Callum Patterson up front and Jordan went to right back and he did well he did the thing he did at Easter Road where he was like basically stationed on the on aye, the halfway right, right. line. Aye. <laughs> But, you know, you can't actually do that, so... Uh, oh, I don't know. I've got no idea how to develop a footballer. I've never actually done it. <laughs> Neither have I. Um, yeah, it was... My 20-year career doing it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, d- I just think in general, it's not... I don't think it's a great thing to be worried about. I just think that any team can have an off day and, you know, it's up to the, the opposition to, to show up and that's exactly what happened. It was just... One of those days at the office, as the cliche goes, that we just weren't there, and Falkirk, as I say, you know, I can't fault them. They fully deserve their win. Well, just to milk every bit of pleasure we can out of that <laughs> opening period where it looked like Hearts might win the game, uh, I'm just sort of going through my notes, and like it's all just sort of like great little flicks. Uh, Callum Patterson taking a free kick, which was bizarre. Yeah. But then after that, like Walker had a, a lovely little disguised touch to get past the guy, and. Uh, you take notes at the games now? Yeah, I take notes at the games now. Professional outfit yeah. here. <laughs> you take this podcast to, seriously. Too much fun. <laughs> there, was a, there was a great uh, break where um, Zayfouk, like uh, did a little cushion pass to, to So, who like passed it out to the wing for Sam Nicholson, and he nearly managed to play Zayfouk back in, but he yeah. just scuffed the pass. I think he was caught in two minds between shooting or passing, to be honest. He could have actually taken that a wee bit further as well, because he, he was beyond the last man, but that was a lovely wee interchange, I. Danny, uh, Danny Wilson had an incredible 50 yard pass right onto Zay Fouke's chest, which yes. uh, led to a chance. That was, that was lovely. Uh, Callum Patterson flicked over the defender he was attacking, laid it off to So, who like, smacked it from about 20 yards out. Yes. You see, uh, everyone, balance, I can yeah. see like, all the joy in all your <laughs> I'm remembering it now. Yeah. It's all going back. You're but then, to hit his left, didn't he? I think, from that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just. Oh, see if I'd come in. I don't know. It, was, it wasn't far away at all, was it? <laughs> it was a bullet of a shot. But yeah, that was the point when Falkirk got their goal from the penalty spot. And uh, it, all, it all went a bit turgid after that, really. Yeah, we didn't really get back into it much until maybe a 10, 15 minute spell in the second half. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We still... Yeah. We still only lost the game due to a pretty stupid mistake on the edge of our own box yeah. really near the end of the game. From the ever so you, Gomez as well. If you want to sort of not take positives but just to get some perspective, it was a great shot as well. Right. Excuses. Furthest in the corner it could be. Yeah. Well, so if you hadn't made that mistake, we'd have probably dropped. It was, well, it was like, a you lot could... of individual errors as well as, you know, not playing great as a team. It's just, as I say, it's and we should have had the penalty. Uh, yeah, but see, yeah, I'm never sure about arguing moments like that. I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. Yes, we should have had a penalty. Osman so was absolutely brutalised, knocked over. But Falkirk were way better than us all day. Yeah. They um um 
uh, again, like talking to Simon, who I sit next to again, like he he pointed out that they they obviously looked at what Hibbs had done in like the previous home game of you know making sure they had an extra man in midfield and and pressing us really hard and I, once again we didn't really come up with an answer to that. Yeah. Um, I think we were kind of hoping that they tire out and they they really didn't. They just kept on the. Um, uh, Loy was was very quick and incisive. Sibold like played everywhere across the wings and through the middle. He just looked like a step faster, a step more intense than everybody. And um, Baird, John Baird, like just canny, canny veterans performance. Like just always knew where to stand, how to how to create a chance. We were, uh, I think, we were taken to the cleaners a bit. Any any dissenting voices? No, they were good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it wasn't Hibs, eh? Aye, that's it. the whole night last night in the pub. Just everybody, one after the other. At least it wasn't the Hibs of the Rangers. At least it wasn't the Hibs. Of the... Fuck off. I know. <laughs> we still lost though. Yeah, but you know, at I, least I, it wasn't Hibs of Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, I really Could don't. Worse. I really don't don't think it's anything to be too downhearted about. No. I really don't. Yeah, you know, I was. I, I did my my um, my angry walk after the game yesterday, which is basically just sprinting to the diggers and then crying, <laughs> um, which I perfected uh, last season uh, with the vast majority of our home games. But yeah, I, I was. It's never nice to lose, but if you look at the perspective of we have lost one game in twenty one. Yeah, is it twenty one games we played twenty two this season? What to be honest with you, it doesn't matter either or. Oh, as in, you know, <laughs> if someone had said to us, you know, by the end of January, you have only lost one game, we would have fucking bitten our hands. See, uh, the, the funniest thing about that whole last sentence is that people would think that Rob made it up about having an angry walk last season, but it's it's not. Rob cannot handle. A heart's loss in whatever I, circumstance. I really fucking don't like it. <laughs> like all the last season, I was just like, whatever, man. The odds were against us anyway. I'm just glad that we're putting up a fight. And I like turn to Rob to like joke after like you know losing three 0 at home to Comarca or something like that. He's just like, no, nah, no, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not in the mood. I d- I really don't like losing. <laughs> I fucking really don't like it. It's 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 weird though because like genuinely like hours after I'm absolutely fine and you know I'm I'm looking at the bigger picture and stuff like that, but. I've got quite a sort of bad uh, initial anger problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I ended up making it to the diggers before just about everyone else. Like, I, basically, I basically jogged. Fueled by pure rage. I, I, I'm, just, I'm imagining you're angry, Rob, but it's more, like, in my head it's more like a sort of Beyonce strut. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of you like trotting along Gorgie Road. What? Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. It's just a seething Rob job, the diva. basically. Like. <laughs> Aye, um, so I, 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 yeah, I got my angry walk on, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just pick- imagining you walking along Gorgie Road, kicking cats and dogs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Booting all the farmyard animals. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, to echo this note of hilarity, one other thing, one other highlight from the first half was uh, Falkirk's number six, who I've forgotten to. Volks. Volks, there Volks. we go. Volks. Volks, getting into a wee bit of uh, an argument with Zayfouk and like attempting to to push him <laughs> and say about moving zero inches <laughs> zero millimetres and just looking at him like ah, okay mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool <laughs> uh, how many men do you think it would take to push say over 14 14 that's the majority of a rugby team yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. get on board with that more than any association football team they would have to get subs coming off the bench yeah in order to push him over yep Regulation three subs players. <laughs> I can't wait till he scores a goal and somebody tries to piggyback on you. Just end up with the entire eleven, <laughs> the other ten players in like a big multi-layered piggyback of <laughs> him. Just like, well, oh, like sorry, did someone jump on me. <laughs> <laughs> like those um, uh, motorcycle display teams <laughs> yeah. or motorcycle the ball, just a the pyramid just of hearts players <laughs> hanging off his arms and stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jason Holt being held up by a pinky finger <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What an image! Just like that. Just like that. Oh, what an image! What a, what a wonderful, wonderful image you've put in my head there. So second half, um, Robbie didn't make any changes. There was a bit more urgency at the start of the second half, though. Would you see for about ten minutes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. Um, I we looked a wee bit like we were going to kick on, um, which 
Some would say that's kind of the opposite of what we've done this season. We're usually great in the first half and then uh, sort of slack off a bit in the second, like we did at the Full Cup away game. Um, yeah. When, you know, we played great in the first half, scored two good goals and then slacked off a wee bit. But, you know, I, I, I generally, like, maybe that's contributed to my anger at the end. I, I never really thought we were going to lose it. Yeah, even at two one down, I yeah. was like kind of shrugging and just going, "All right, cool. We'll we'll still probably come back to two two, yeah, and draw at least." But that, that's the confidence you carry from a, an unbeaten run that we we did have until you know five o'clock yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, before that um, two one goal, we did have that uh, Zay fight chase down where like Jamie McDonald looked concerned for his life. <laughs> <laughs> this this. this <coughs> This runaway like train planet sized object hurtled towards him have you ever seen the film Unstoppable with Denzel Washington <laughs> I watched that right. last night uh, yeah I don't see me <laughs> holy yeah. shit and it just like, the, the train starts and it just doesn't fucking stop like, it, you know it takes him a wee while to get to you know optimum pace and then when he's there it's absolutely I didn't. I think you know he slid in in the end of McDonald's I think that's the only way he was going to stop <laughs> Yeah, like if he just, kept going, he would have literally gone through the Gorgie Road end. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just know. to demolish the control box. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, he, he wasn't giving that up. And, that, you know, great work ethic and stuff like that, because it, he didn't. He doesn't look like the kind of guy that would run about for 90 minutes. You know, he's, he's very much he's effective in the middle of the park. And, you know, I think that's why So was there to do a lot of chasing down, which So did quite effectively as well, with Nicholson mm. and uh, Walker being willing runners as well. But, yeah, that was, it was good to see. But then Paul Kirk scored a beezer. That was a fucking good goal, wasn't it? Yeah. It, again, it, sort of almost similar to how they got the penalty, just you know, running square onto the penalty box. You know, defenders not knowing when to put a foot in and when not to. And uh, fucking great finish, to be fair. Was it? Who was it? Lloyd. Lloyd. Was it Lloyd? Lloyd yeah. yeah. On the turn. Good striker. Um, you know, I think we were looking at him before we got um, Keatings and stuff like that. Um, Good striker, fucking great finish. You can't fault Alexander for that. You can probably fault the defenders for not closing him down quick enough and allowing him that space to, to get the shot away. But, you know, I, again... You, you know how I fault? I fault Fringy. I fault Fringy. I think if he was singing louder, then, you know, the team would have played better. <laughs> Fuck you, Fringy. <laughs> Fuck you, Bobby Madden. It's his fault. If we'd played the full 90 at Ibrox, we'd be match sharp. <laughs> That's I did wonder where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were compiling lists of who to blame. So uh, it was Andy Fraser, our friend, because it was his birthday. Yeah, what and a day. He wore a ridiculous tweed jacket. He did wear a tweed jacket, jacket yeah. Uh, Lewis Brody gets a special name check for taking his nice sweet daughter Isla to her first ever game. Fuck you, Lewis. Yeah, ridiculous. Jinx, Jinx, absolutely. Um, and Buds for replacing the track. <laughs> the, the pitch is distractingly bright. Yeah, it was just too lovely. Like, like I think, yeah, I honestly yeah, think that all the players were running past. <laughs> yeah. and just that would look great in my living room. No, <laughs> no. Obviously, you know, we're not here to make excuses, but all of these excuses ah, yeah. are perfectly fucking valid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, all of these things are completely responsible for our loss. Uh, Falkirk was shit. <laughs> one thing that wasn't responsible for it was uh, Prince Blabin had a lovely break. The one thing that he he really did quite well uh, broke through from midfield. Yes, uh, the strong one shot. Uh, the keeper parried and then he like somehow got the ball back but didn't get a shot off just like held the ball up in the penalty box for about I'm saying 20 so, hours <laughs> yeah but he's still there still actually. there yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just sort of like walking around in circles on his own axis holding off defenders <laughs> desperately trying to win a corner since the ground <laughs> stack the ground stack trying to pop the ball with a foot <laughs> <laughs> at the moment <laughs> he's like no no <laughs> shielding this is mine what um, a pro yeah absolutely Punch. Um, yeah, we, we had a sort of a, we, we more than had our chances, but we're coming up against a, a very good Jamie McDonald yesterday as well, we had a few great saves. Um, there was, a, there was a header, do you remember Sam Nicholson's <laughs> header? Sam Nicholson header? Was yeah. it a Sam Nicholson Yeah, he header? really, yeah. He, he should have scored, he should have scored. I, I think, you know, at that stage, you know, it was an incredible run, it was a bizarre ball into the middle from Patterson. Mm -hmm. It was a great run from, uh, from Nicholson to get in front of his man. But what, he ran for about like twenty yards before I, he left. He had a, like he had like a huge <laughs> lane just towards the goal. Just it was to get it, it was a phenomenal run. It really was, and the defender had no chance with the momentum of Nicholson coming in. I think you know Nicholson as soon as he got good contact on it, he must have thought that was it. You know that's the yeah. equaliser. That's that's a goal. But straight in the throat of McDonald, it was unlucky. Anywhere else, and the power on the header was you know McDonald had no chance, but. You know, that was one of a few chances that we had that were just desperately unlucky. You know, Blabin going through, playing a 1-2 with uh, Zayfouk and good save from McDonald again. 
you know, Nicholson had another chance going through on goal. Keating's got the ball stuck under his feet. Mm. We did we did have our fair share of chances, we just didn't put them away. It was a, a, a bloody shame. For this next uh, incident, I'm going to go to our resident expert in the laws of the games, Mr Ian Walker. No. You are a, a qualified FIFA referee, is that correct? Yeah, I was actually at the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Um, so, if you get tackled unfairly inside the box, what happens? Play on, definitely. If it's in the second uh, half and, right. and you're behind, <laughs> play, definitely play on. Play on, right. Okay, well, as long as that's the actual FIFA mandate, then the, 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 the referee behaved perfectly when mm. Osman Sol was tackled unfairly in the box. Yes, when Osman Sol was fucking bundled quite, quite incredibly. Uh, There's nothing in the rule book about bundling. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fair bundle. <laughs> that was a shoulder to bundle. <laughs> Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it was um, it was basically the exact same tackle as what Celtic got at uh, at Celtic Park in the League Cup tie when Oz took took out uh, you know, someone. Sure. Um, the demon. Yeah, number seven. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ah, it was the exact same tackle. You know, the referee's probably seeing shoulder barge, but there's a line <laughs> to be drawn with shoulder barge. It went straight to. Uh, so it's back. coming in from like four or five o'clock, as it were, rather than yeah. properly side on with him, yeah. looking through him, as opposed to yeah. pushing him out of the way. No, I don't know why I'm doing motions here, like the people listening to the podcast are going to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I tell you, it's really working for me though, so keep it going. It was, it, was, it was about as stonewall as a penalty should be, um, but you know, wasn't given, these things happen. Lol, we, ha. we would have fucking missed it anyway. <laughs> That's a huge point. We engineered a situation where we could smash it into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it was yeah, just another another moment of uh, agony in a, a day full of it. Oh, well, I, I tell you what, I, I did really enjoy in the second half. So, a, a superb veteran moment from uh, Adam Eckersley, our, our veteran leader at the back. Um, it was a really another really nice flowing move. Uh, Osman so chested the ball down from a long ball over the top, uh, broke to Nicholson who laid it off to to Eckersley, rampaging down the left, and he absolutely ballooned the cross. It went sailing into the Gorgie Road end, and actually, let even a thought, completely trained, turned around and kicked a divot <laughs> on the uh, on the pitch just to let everybody know that it wasn't his fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's making it incredibly obvious that it wasn't his fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's somebody who knows the game inside out, <laughs> who knows how to play. Yeah, knows how to blame other things. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there was there was a few cases of that. You know, Blabin had a, a simple pass out to uh, Patterson at one stage that ended up about twenty rows back in the stand as well. Um, yeah, wasn't our day. Wait a minute, we scored a goal. Hey, James Keatons. I remember that. This is true. That was a, a wonderful sort of sclaff. <laughs> <laughs> a wonder sclaff. A wonder sclaff. Wonder sclaff. Unglaublich toll. Wonder sclaff. Keatons goal. Goal, 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 goal. Tor. 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 Tor for hearts. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what the fuck happened there, right? Um, yeah, it came to his right foot. And Germany he, happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bundesliga. Um, yeah. I did a Bundesliga podcast, that's great <laughs> fun. <laughs> just do it all like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, just kind of, I can't really remember it too well, and because we've not had the benefit of highlights or replays, it kind of bounced him in the box and he hit on his less favoured right foot. His um, left favoured right foot? His left favoured. <laughs> Oh, it's left there. Well, I did no, it's left flavoured. No, it's right. <laughs> it's the left foot flavouring on his right foot, <laughs> just to even them up a bit. This this loss has made us lose our minds. Enough no. of this banter. What happened was is that the ball worked its way into Keating's, and he had like three yards of space in the penalty box. So he'd done what Keating do when he has the ball at his feet and three yards of space in the box. He slotted it home. Well, sliced it home. <laughs> 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 Intended and got. <laughs> and, and at that point, I was absolutely convinced we were winning that game. Yeah, so was I. And then Margaro Gomez happened. I don't. Well, yeah, he was entirely at fault. For he, well, he was. He, yeah. he, he was. <laughs> he was caught in possession when trying to clear it inside the D of our own penalty box. Yes, nobody shouted though. The guy was coming from behind him, and nobody shouted man on. True. No, that's so nonsense. Your fault. No, you're not that's feeling that. Complete nonsense. Rob yeah. Chad. He's dribbling out of a box full of opposition players. I think he's going to be unchallenged. Like, there's times, there's there's times when you know there's a man on, and Margaro Gomez usually has a sixth sense for that kind of thing. 
Um, and so you're blaming him for just playing football with only five senses. Basically, yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> what just, a dick. You know, Gomez has arguably been our best player this season, so you can't really pin it on him too much. But he was completely responsible for that goal that ended up being. Well, that had an excellent finish, to be fair. As well. it, was, yeah, it was very it, jinky from Sybil. It was, yeah. it was a great finish. Um, you know, right in the right in the bottom corner again, another good goal um, from from their perspective. But it's it was just he had the pass out wide. He had, I think, it was McGee running out wide. He could have hit it long, but he tried to dribble it out through, you know, a melee of bodies. And yeah, it yeah, just, it was, just, I'm not one of these people that is like, get out of the park, cars like that you know. asshole that sits too behind me. <laughs> but, um, but in that situation, getting in the fuck up the park would have been a very sensible option. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't blame him for trying to play the, the Robbie Nielsen way, which is dribbling mm-hmm. it out and trying mm-hmm. to find the easy pass. But sometimes these things come back and, and haunt you. And that's, that's what happened on this instance. And, it, you know, it's a mistake that I'm sure will be a kick up the arse for him as well that won't happen again. Just a lot of lessons learned, I think, um, off the back of that. I, I've seen a lot of knee-jerk reactions to the loss um, so far, you know. From people, football fans? From Hearts fans? Say it ain't so. I know, right? Um, I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> no no more season book for you. Um, <laughs> Did it tell it cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> Um, my friend next to me, Kevin, he burnt his season ticket and threw it on the pitch. Burnt, burnt a plastic card. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's just how angry he was, Robert. Yeah, yeah, the anger, uh, the seed. He, he should have angry walked instead. I think that works a treat. Um, mm, let me try that next time. But yeah, no. I, oh, I wait, think, I'm not going back. Sorry. I think <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, immediate knee jerk reactions. Um, you know, it happens. Losing happens. It's part and parcel of football. This team now needs to show next week against Alloa and the week after that against uh, Livingston, you know, how we can bounce back. We bounce back from every loss we've had this season, Livingston, Celtic, Celtic. We've won every game after that. But there it should be no sucks difference. because I really wanted to keep winning. I really thought we could go this season unbeaten. It, <laughs> yeah. it felt like it, does, it was it in does count as, uh, Like I was saying at 2-2, it was like, you know, we, we really are capable of going the rest of the season without losing to anyone. Look at the way we've pulled it back to 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's 3-2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought oh, so it's your <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take oh, my, crap. my, partly my, my fault slice as well. of the blame. Mm. Uh, but you know I need to take a slice of the blame as well because I said we were going to win. Ah, oh, you dick. 2 1 down or, or whatever, and I was like, you Idiot. know, we're going to win this. If, we didn't. Sorry. Sorry. If, if, if we're looking to scrape um, you know, morsels of positivity from this barrel of doom, Always. then um, maybe it's a good thing that the team now has lost. You know, that's a monkey off the back. That's them um, now showing that they have to react to this in a positive way. Um, again, it'll, it'll all be completely, you know, be there for all to see on uh, on Saturday against Alloa. Um, seeing how they come back from it, how they bounce back, Alloa's a very difficult place to go. We scraped to win there last time, uh, you know, that, that plastic pitch and all that kind of stuff. It'll be very interesting to see how they bounce back, you know. Um, what is too- interesting is that we've got really no idea what our rivals are like because, I mean, Rangers have lost another manager yeah. in the last week. Their game against Dumbarton was postponed, so they're not playing a league game until like the so far until, until, next week. until we play Livingston away on the 7th of February. That's their next league game, I think. So, we, I mean, we've got, like, what, two or three yeah. league games before they uh, they take the pitch? So before they play again, yeah. We could have it up at... 19. Between, it'll be anywhere between 13 and 19 before the next play. And we've got absolutely no idea whether or not... Like, they might... They could conceivably be worse. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, they'll be smart enough to they get beaten 25-0 by Celtic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it's it's turned this sort of couple of months into a very interesting one as opposed to being a fucking walk, to be honest with you. I quite um, like a walk, though. Yeah. Like a nice walk past scenic victories. <laughs> like a nice non angry countryside. Walk. <laughs> t- t- taking the country road to the title. Um, yeah, it's it'll, it'll make for some interesting times, especially if we don't get a result against that one. You know, Do you think there's. For fuck's sake, Rob, now it's your fault for next week when something goes wrong. <laughs> we're going to have to dig deep. That's all I'm saying. For the first time this season, you know, we've, we're, we're going to be up against it. Do we think that there is anything worrying tactically that we maybe need to pay attention to I mean like I say Falkirk always had a man over they were always pressing us should Robbie have been looking to get like a Jason Holt or a Miguel Payardo on earlier I, I definitely think so maybe slightly Possibly, earlier yeah. but not I, de- I definitely think so but then Nielsen has instilled so much confidence in me so far this season that I would never question he, thought he had his reasons to not bring on Holt earlier does not, not bring on Payardo 
not to change it up up front with taking so often bringing Keaton's on for a different dimension. Mm. I have no reason to question him because he's been right so often this season with his decisions mm. that you know again every other it, game you could you could try and you could try and blame Nielsen for the loss. I don't think so. I think the players underperformed. I think Falkirk on the day were absolutely fantastic. I think that's that's why we lost. That's you know that I think was the that is an, another sort of thing to to look at. Like Falkirk started this season very very slowly just because they had such a huge turnover of players, but they really seem to be finding something now. I mean that's like the what was it two weeks ago they went to to Easter Roads and scored three there as yeah, well. Absolutely, um, they're, they're a good team. You know they've they've scored four. One got chopped off. <laughs> That's true. Half yeah. an hour after they scored it. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've made my dislike for Peter Houston apparent, you know, fairly often on this podcast, but he has got and his general team. life too. And the general life, yeah, I often <laughs> just say it. Um, but yeah, no, he's got his team playing good football. He's got good players in there like Sybil. He's got uh, Loy and, you know, Baird looks like a good signing from him as well. Mark um, Kerr as well, actually, in his glory... Um, Football manager return to yes. <laughs> yeah. to, um, to Falkirk. Mark Kern, and obviously they've got a Premiership standard keeper and Jamie McDonald in there mm-hmm. as well. They've got Volks as a good wee centre half. It's a good team. They don't, they'll cause a lot of problems to a lot of teams. Good team. And they they, they beat us fully on merit. So. Good team. Good team. <laughs> we have. This is this is this loss has been like LSD for us. <laughs> um, well, um, that Not bodes back. well for the music round that's coming up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, songs. Yeah. Songs. So, obviously, there was a huge amount of uh, incredible performers yesterday to, <laughs> to choose from. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, there wasn't yeah. many. No, it was only really safe folk that was any good at all. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Mm. So, for the second week in a row... Janeiro is a folk. Janeiro. You are getting some tunes. Is anyone desperate to start us off? I think Fridgey should because he's got so much confidence in his song. <laughs> he's uh, brimming. I've worked long and hard on this, but I have no confidence in it whatsoever. <laughs> so I'll let you with your songs. <laughs> Normally you're it's such the, it's the absolute opposite. Genius. <laughs> Epicy. Epicy. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, someone else start. Please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That's um, not where I thought that was going. You? Okay. Um, why not? We're all familiar with the, the wonderful hit from Puddle of Mud. Uh, Which one? S- <laughs> <laughs> well, Which one from their Grammy Award winning back catalog? <laughs> we'll, we'll see how we, how, how we recognise it from here. Signed a guy. He's from Holland. His name is sung around the stands. Started a game where he scored two against Falkirk. It came unglued. See, fuck, he hates hips. <laughs> Just see, fuck, he hates hips. And na na na, he tried so hard. And against Falkirk, he only scored one. <laughs> so they won the game. <laughs> You know, the, the thing that I really take from that is that you're a much better singer than the guy from Puddle of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 If you're really going for the impression, you've got to get adenoidal as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's an accurate representation of how you actually say, Fucking Puddle of Mud. Jesus Christ, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, you. Yeah. Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> right, here goes. I'm going to make a tit of myself. Enjoy this. Get the fuck up. Robbie says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> General up front making cunt of defences. Gents, rub on his titties. Yeah, I said it. General got titties. Barrel chested striker committed to scoring the goals. Defences tried to push him, but he never falls. <laughs> Oh man, I wish you'd give me a bit more water. I've laid down a beat for you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that about the titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah I said it. Do you know how <laughs> You sure do. Word. Man, not tried to rap in ten years. So I uh, really hope you enjoyed that. For uh, you know, confirmation for everybody, uh, you know, listening to the podcast, uh, Fridgy is white. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, "Am I going next?" Because seeing how you've like willfully made sure that 
No, I don't. I don't mind going next. It's it's, it's up to yourself. Right? Oh, I'll, I'll go next then. Come on, here you. you. <coughs> Cause it's your narrow, safe out time Your defender's out of luck because she's built like a fucking truck And it's your narrow, safe out time When the Jambos need a goal, he'll score a tapping, tapping, tapping <laughs> Oh, I'm loving the enthusiasm yeah. today Yeah, that's, <coughs> that was high pitched Yeah, that's how, that's how, that's how Mikey do <laughs> I also um, thought of a wee Vincent Price section, but I don't know if this is good. <laughs> well, do you want to have another go? Hyde's <laughs> cry across the land. The playoff hour is close at hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fucking hell. Right, okay. That's quite an active follow. <laughs> Janeiro, <laughs> you know you make me want say fuck. Put your hands up, say fuck. Scoring goals, with say fuck. Put your hands and say fuck. Put your hands up and hey, 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 hey. Janeiro, 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 Janeiro. Yep, that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were just getting into that, man. Yeah. yeah, well, tough shit. You teased us up, and now we've got nowhere to put this energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a podcast this has been! Uh, so, Freddy won then. Uh, yo, fuck you, Freddy won. He always does. He always thanks you. He always, he always, always pulls it out of the bag. Yeah. All right, peace. <laughs> Lordy. Well, we'll be back next time for uh, another a victory. A victory next time. Yeah, yeah. we're going to beat Aloha. Fucking right, we're going to beat Aloha. I believe that we will win. Or I'll pop a cash and. No. I'll <laughs> pop a oh, casserole on ass. I'll pop a casserole, yo. <laughs> pop a casserole in the oven, you know. Yo, I want some lasagna. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, follow Fridgy on Twitter for more examples of that genius. For more fucking uh, at Fridgy Town. Yeah. Follow Ian Walker on Twitter. At Ian Walker Five. The digit five. Yes, the digit five. Why? The digit Why five? five? There were four more. <laughs> Are there four other Ian Walkers? I guess so. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, I was just wondering, man. That's fair. He's just a big fan of Short Circuit. Uh, follow Robert. Uh, at RF Borthwick. Follow Nickel Hay. At Nickel Hay. Hey. hey! Follow We Have No Cares. At We Have No Cares. Email We Have No Cares. At We Have No Cares at gmail.com. We yeah, have... well done! Yeah! Awesome. We Have No Cares. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. the food thing, pretty started. I don't know they got a casserole and kale and shit. <laughs> Do you know where to find the Tumblr? What? Uh, but no. she doesn't know where to find this shit. What the fuck is Tumblr? <laughs> uh, we have no cares.tumblr.com. You can find this episode and all the old ones as well. You can. You can. You can do it. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no. A bit of Aloha in our lives next week. Yeah. Is that next week or is that? Yes, 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 next week, Saturday, 5.30 on Alba. BBC. Which is why I'm not going through it. Uh, fucking that's thing. right. I know how to find BBC Alba. Yes, it's, oh, it's on your TV. Channel yeah. Channel Nine on most free view sets. Yes, absolutely. And Nickel can do the translation from the uh, the commentary for us, can't you? Ha. Huh? <laughs> that was what? yes in Gaelic. Ah, I thought you were just. I know how you say shit postman lap. Pat in Gaelic. <laughs> Pat Patrick Post. <laughs> Flawless. All this and more <laughs> next yeah. week. Uh, yeah. So, um, ah, I don't know why I'm finishing it. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve. Steve Crawford. Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Hey, baby. Amaruso, that's a run, it's a dunk!